probably I'll do all that. We will do all these things. But yeah, so His but, Royal <sighs> Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire. Well, I think I'll extend my mandate for now. I don't need the money, I'm doing okay with the, the money department. But I should... Oh, look at that. Never mind, we've got all... Uh... But yeah, so there was no problems. Uh, the Canadian border agents just... They, they let us in. I was worried they were going to search our car because we had a crap ton of stuff packed in it, you know? You know we're trying to move as much as we can from uh, America to Canada, but they didn't even search our car. Um... It just let us go on our merry way. And I was very, very grateful. So it was a huge, um, like, load off my chest uh, to know that, you know, she's here. Uh, there's no issues. And she's here for, you know, a very long time. But, uh, yeah, I, that's one of the reasons I didn't want to, like, talk about it. Because I'm, like, superstitious about these kind of things. Like, I believe that, um... Like, if I go out and tell everybody something, uh, before it happens, it's not gonna happen. Moat for a lot of things. And, uh, that's why I kinda kept quiet about it. And, uh, obviously, my gut instincts were right, because everything was, uh, pretty much painless. Great news. While searching through the crates of colony supplies, we found a sickle. <laughs> now we have something that goes perfectly with our hammers. This will boost production sky high. I can almost see the glorious future. Oh, thanks, Penultimo. Okay. Automatically uh, increases. So we're increasing in popular support. So let's see what we got here. All right, we got a significant uh, unemployment. There's only two factions at the start, the uh, Royalists and uh, the Revolutionaries. Alright, well we should build some more houses so we can stave off homelessness. And I guess we, what can we build for entertainment? Okay, let's build a tavern. For our peoples. Why do, why does it have to be all the way up here? Oh, that's beauty overlay. Okay. What else do we got? Luxury entertainment. Tourism, can't build anything there yet. I uh, should probably build a grocery too. While we have the money, what other things should we randomly throw down? A lighthouse. See how lazy or not lazy the teamsters Someone are. Someone stole my manuscript and published it under a pseudonym. It was an autobiographical story about two men on a mountain who want to form deep male bonds. <laughs> they even stole the surrealistic chapter where fairies prance under a rainbow. 
the circumstances behind the theft are very queer. Okay. Now all tropic men want to work on a ranch. And I will never receive any recognition uh, at all. Uh, it all went poof. His Majesty's plans have been hindered by supply shortages. To offset these setbacks, the Crown demands additional resources from the colonies. Beggars, vermin infestors, lazy workers, horn agitators, and bad weather have pestered His Majesty's great project from the very start. The Emperor, need, the Emperor needs colonies to step in and provide the necessary resources. Of course they do. Oh, I like these. Look at this. We, we got a pretty nice, like, little residential area here. I'm pretty happy with that. Looks great. I think I should probably. Uh, Not much good area, good ranch land, except for this over here. Way in the middle of nowhere. But I was gonna build another. Should probably get another corn plantation. is still doing rather poorly compared to your neighbors, Puerto Coco and Ila Rojo. His Majesty is not pleased. Well, this time I can afford it. Our research team, that is to say me, discovered the shovel <laughs> 40 times. If I find out who put it there, I will kill him. Anyway, I gave it to the miners so they can put it somewhere safe. Like, underground. Oh, Penultimo. I missed you. But that's exactly what... Wow. 12,000 bucks, huh? Is there any... Wow, it doesn't even look like there's any iron deposits anywhere on this island. At least that we can see. That's shitty. I was hoping uh, to use it to gain a pretty nice new revenue source. support. So, happiness. Someone must really hate us. It is bad luck to have one tornado on your island, but we have several. It must be a conspiracy. Personally, I think this is a conspiracy. Anyway, run for the shelters. No! No way! Oh my god. Oh my god. 
His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the... Actually, I should have probably taken the money. Wow. What a disaster. The tornado outbreak is over. Holy I shit. I a thorough investigation to determine who is responsible for these tornadoes. Wow. What a absolute unmitigated disaster. That tornado killed 31 people, and somehow, due to the tornado, my approval rating went up. I guess it must be my handling of it. Independence must be every Tropicans' ultimate goal. But you can't expect us to fight a revolution on an empty stomach. Tropicans find food wherever they can, mostly by liberating it from farms. However, a much better way to provide food for your people is to build a grocer and supply it with food. It provides for a higher food happiness and thus increases your popular support. Thanks to your efforts, the revolutionary movement is growing stronger. As a sign of gratitude, the movement of revolutionaries has offered their help. Remember, you need to increase approval rating above 50% to declare independence. Increase the number of revolutionaries on your island will greatly help you with the task. Uh, sure. Uh, besides, I need people to replace everyone who died in, like, the Great Tornado Storm of 1867. I think I should put high priority on rebuilding those plantations. Because without them, I can't continue to make the kind of money I was, uh, I was before. Uh oh, what's this? Okay, must be just the autosave. Thanks to your efforts, the revolutionary movement is- Many people are ready to give their life for their ideals. You must be ready to take lives for yours. I like this guy. Don't you agree with me? I don't know why he sounds like Batman. I'll have to take matters into my own hands and show you. The royalists on your island do not support independence and lower your approval. I have arranged for the deaths of several of them. This is an important lesson. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices to achieve your goals. News. We found out how to use the muskets the crown sent us. Apparently, all you have to do is pull the trigger. Our research was seriously hindered until we discovered you should not look into the barrel when pulling the trigger. <laughs> we lost a lot of good men that way. But at least we got the new military fort. Disaster. The revolutionaries are demanding that you insult the king. This is a very risky business. The king could have uh, caused her uh, to be vengeful. Sure, the best I'll insult we could come up with was to name one of the most stupid and boring animals in Tropico after the king. <laughs> Our revolutionaries are not the brightest candles in the night, but it's a, still a valid insult according to the Book of Etiquette. Name the local anteater. You made a kid. terrible mistake there, old chap. Mentioning the size of the king's nose Damn is considered it. a major faux pas, as is naming anything big-nosed after him. The king is livid. He wanted to reopen the old torture chamber and place you in there, especially for you. Uh, I want ten times what my usual fare, and uh, trust me, this is a bargain. Get up with this simple punishment. Okay, I don't really know what I got as a punishment, but whatever. Things do not look well for you, old chap. His Majesty is extremely displeased with you and has decided to punish you as an example to the other colonies. The royal punishment meant for you is so extreme I can't even bear to put it into the words, but I managed to soften it up a bit. Const 
construction of His Majesty's underwater palace has begun. The crown requires a great many tons of your crops to His help pay for this massive project. His Majesty demands a combined total of 10,000 of your cash crops. Revolutionaries find these numbers too high. I suggest we only send half that amount. Um... I'll send the required amount of crops. I have no idea how long my mandate is, though. But uh, the important thing is, at least I, I mean, I may have managed to piss off all the revolutionaries, or say not the revolutionaries, the, uh, crown on my island are the royalists but somehow i'm still in good relations with the king even though i called him a big nose our soldiers may be few in number but the fire of the revolution burns in their hearts we need more brave men and women like them the sons and daughters of the revolution are ready to give their lives for freedom we must make sure their efforts will not be in vain to, uh we have to strengthen our army so we can defend ourselves and win our independence Sure, we'll build a new fort. I think we have the money. Yeah, we do. I sat with three other members of the research team. Suddenly, it dawned on us. We're four men. You get it? Four men? Incidentally, we also discovered bad puns. <laughs> oh, man. Red tape. May as well just research it all. Jolly good, old chap. You've given His Majesty's subjects food. So now you should make them pay for it. Uh, I say this. Uh, free food thing seems illogical. Why should the Crown waste its profits to feed the people? His Majesty says no free lunch, and he means it. Uh, be a good dear and issue the edict. Don't listen to the radical woman and her extra... Alright, I'll issue both. There's not enough bread in our bread and circuses. Most tropicans eat once a day. This makes them slim and athletic, athletic but not very happy. Some extra rations uh, would be more than welcome when we have the food to spare. Don't forget, fat, lazy people are less likely to revolt. Paying for their lunches is a foreign concept to all tropicans, but I hear it's very popular in countries more sophisticated than ours. Let us put a price on all food stuff. The poor may starve, but what do they <laughs> contribute to the economy anyway? Thanks to your efforts, the revolutionary world. All right, all the houses are back. Oh, well, you know, the great tornado has been shrugged off for now. I should build another tavern. On the corner here. The corner tavern. We're oh, dipped in popular support. It's because there's too many royalists on this island. Well, it looks like our uh, building's almost done, though. And we're slowly working Thanks our way. Your efforts, the revolutionary. Slowly working our way 
towards independence. Oh, almost there, too. We just discovered the number of times you need to get hit by a plank to actually discover something. It is around seven, depending on the plank in question. We call this the plank constant. I am sure it will become very important one day. The sea is too crowded. It is full of lost cities, rich American industrialists, and sleeping alien gods. His Majesty has no desire to mingle with such things. Construction of the underwater palace has stopped, and from now on you will receive fewer, op fewer, if any, options to extend your mandate. Manage will uh, grant you one of these services to extend it now. Oh. But looks like we have 50%. The other shadows that we I, I, I mean... Where's the independence? Okay. Well, I guess I, maybe I have to research a constitution. Spend some time to build a couple, uh, There we go. President, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Governor, the island is ripe for revolution. When your approval rating is high enough that you can proclaim independence from the crown, we can finally be real as Superman. You can proclaim independence. That the question is, how, how do we do President, that? President, oh, I'm getting ahead oh, of myself. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, I don't know if I should wait. Well, I mean, it's our first time. Uh, let's save it. It's not, that's how I save all my games. I just mash random keys. <laughs> and then off I go. But, uh... If we do it, if we're unable myself. to do it, you know, it was a learning experience. The and we'll come back to it. His Majesty is most amused by your declaration of independence. He is currently not very interested in your little island anyway. If you pay the Empire for the losses... It has occurred to you that you'll be independent, otherwise royalist forces will come for a small visit. I could buy it, but I will let them come. Okay, what the hell do I have to do? Get him, Presidente! Get him! Yeah, it looks like we're losing. But I feel like our troops are also getting replaced. Wow, these Royal Infantry somehow haven't taken any damage at all. Okay. So I guess I just gotta build uh, a couple extra forts. Alright, 
Well, you win this round. But we learned something. We learned how combat works in the game, and that's that's the important thing, you know? These are all learning experiences. got to keep our Do I lose it if it goes below 50%? I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm not sure. Governor, I have made contact with a certain group of not so reputable sailors who would gladly pay extra for our goods. Tropicans are tired of working hard only to sell their goods for pittance to the crown. We should find more lucrative trade offers. Of course, when you decide uh, with whom to do business. Nonetheless, I urge you to strike a deal to the smugglers. They will give us a fair price. How, how do I do that? I think I have to build a lighthouse. I'll wait till the next uh, thing comes. It is the right, nay the duty, of every freeborn tropican to grow his own bananas. Country houses may not be as fancy as Lord Oaksworth's mansion, but they provide every tropican with the necessity of life, a roof above his head, and a fine gardener grow his own food. Citizens living in country houses will never starve. Okay. That's what I wanted to see. Contact with this. His Majesty is furious. He has just learned that you've begun mustering a sizable army, yet you don't have a major general. Appoint one immediately. Uh, point of revolutionary. Trade, okay. Is that, is that what we needed to do? Can I export anything to these pirates? Whatever. But yeah, once you finish that next, uh, let me watch it. Think I'm watch it. We'll be good to go. We, the leaders of the Tropican Nation, 
in our desire to put into words the will of the tropical people to follow and obey the laws of the state and maintain the traditional universal tropical values of liberty, peace, love, understanding, siesta, and hidden Swiss bank accounts to hereby sign the first legitimate constitution of Tropico. Hooray! What can I... Okay. Governor, I have made contact with a certain group of not so oh, reputable initiate sailors any who would export be trade route. Okay. Thanks to your efforts. There we go. Guys, just come on, build it. 41% completed. Governor, my special. Oh, that one, I don't think we're going to have to. The Tropican soldier is brave. The Tropican soldier is proud. The Tropican soldier is ready to die for our homeland. The Tropican soldier's shooting skills leave much to be desired. <laughs> we need someone. Uh, uh, we need someone to shout at our soldiers and make them march in a different, in different geometrical shapes. That is bound to make them fight and shoot better. I agree. Uh, what? We don't have three military buildings yet. Okay. Oh, I can't. Can I? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought I could, like, upgrade it further. Two out of our three soldiers cannot identify the right foot from their left, and I kept telling them that neither is meant to be put in their mouth unless given explicit orders. If approve this edict, and all military personnel will go through a severe training regime with pineapples. A well, a tactical session with a certain Miss Pineapple, but is sure to commit cement their resolve. All right. Okay, now it is time. All right. Well, we've certainly got more. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, well, let me Come just. On. See if I got it this time. Presidente. His Majesty is most amused by your. Oh, man.
All right, I think we're gonna win. Oh no, they destroyed my tower. We're coming for you. Presidente, after suffering a thousand paper cuts, we have invented paper. <laughs> it has print on it, where there will be a summary of important affairs, interviews with important tropicans, and a page with political editorials. This will give a voice to every tropican. Also, going to the little Presidente's room will... Holy crap, I can't tell what's... Why, why are these guys running away? Hey! Is that all you've got? Viva el Presidente! Viva el Presidente, hey! indeed. I can't tell who's winning at all. But whatever it is, it's a bloodbath on the streets for Tropican independence. But I think we're winning. It looks like we're winning. That we're gaining ground. I wish I could zoom in closer and see all the things I want to see. Oh my god. A whole just crap load of shit spammed in my face at once. Okay, there we go. Oh, it looks like we won. Uh, voting rights. Wealthy citizens get to vote. Uh, fewer votes based on reactionary wealth discrimination. Persons finding themselves in possession of any item of considerable value within the boundaries of the state of Tropico will here and after named will be here and after named voters. Voters will possess legal rights to pass their vote for a person known as El Presidente on elections. Um, so we've got a couple different choices: male citizens vote. Fewer votes based on chauvinist gender discrimination. Persons who are citizens of the state will find themselves in the rightful position of corpineal, find them in the rightful corpineal position of male physique will heal and be after named voters. Voters possess the legal right to pass their vote for a person known as El Presidente on elections. All citizens vote. More votes based on crazy liberal ideas. Persons who happen to find themselves attributed with the citizenship of the state of Tropico will here and after be considered voters. voters. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I, I'm gonna start with male citizens being able to vote for now. And uh, as Tropico advances, we will advance with it. Uh, state and religion, a secular state. Freedom from religious worship and atheist expression is to be considered and respected and observed by all the institutions of the state. This article of constitution is issued into effect to affect all, but not limited to citizens or persons who are legally visiting the country. Uh, it can be a theocracy. Christianity is the official religion of the state, and the Holy Bible commands the actions of the legitimate ruling body of the state. May God watch over El Presidente in the nation. Um, religious building to lower crime, increased liberty, happiness, uh, atheist state. Um, this Constitution Act proclaims all forms of religious worship and ceremonies to be categorized as metaphorically uh, as as a metaphorical opiate for the people, and therefore considered an illegal substance. Citizens of Tropico must live without the burden of religious addiction. All right, we're going to become an atheist Tropico. Armed forces. Conscription. All citizens of Tropico are considered soldiers and owe themselves to the defense of the nation. The state enlists citizens to conscription, which will uh, oblige, uh, which they will oblige subpoena. Conscripts are considered ipso facto willing to participate in all op operations con um, conveyed by the state. Militia. High school soldiers. Additional militia squadrons raised in battle. This article of the Constitution proclaims all mature citizens legally capable and obligated to act as combatants during defense of the state and all form of invasion, rebellion, coup, insurrection, insurgency, mutiny, revolt, <laughs> revolution, riot, or uprising. Uh, 
professional army, high school soldiers, high effectiveness. The state of Tropico is guaranteed legally uh, by the foreign army. Here are not hereby mentioned army and corpus of standing levy of the combatants who will receive orders and fo receive follow orders by El Presidente and receive uh, substance quid pro quo. Quid pro quo. We're going to have conscription. Thus, I sign the legal document, which will be the Tropic, which will be today. the Constitution Everyone of Tropico. The number of the current amendment to the Constitution wins a free drink. Anyone who has even the slightest idea what's in it will also get a drink, because he's definitely not drunk enough. Finally, the grand prize for the night, and any other night, all cute guys get a free date with me. Welcome, brother. Today, you and your family join a select few who have taken upon themselves the burden of governing the world. Congratulations, are in. Welcome to our own Here's a membership future. card and your ceremonial dagger and freedom, robes. El Presidente and the Jolly Roger Bar and Radio with me, Lulu, as your host. Membership fees are due on the second Monday of each month. Uh, since you're a newest member, I will continue to guide your endeavors and remain your primary contact with you. All right. Um, okay, there we go. I think that's going to be it for now, so I want to thank you guys for watching. Tropico 5 has certainly been a blast so far. And uh, I was worried because there wasn't that much coverage of the game and it just kind of appeared all of a sudden on my Steam like listings and uh, there wasn't much time to preload it. And I was worried that it might be buggy, you know, it might have not had some uh, kinks ironed out. But from what I could tell, uh, I'm, I'm more than excited to continue in our journey with El Presidente and see the rest of the surprises this game has in store for us. So with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been The Stalinator, signing off for now, and you guys take care.